Hello guys and welcome back to another play view on the channel and today we have got a massive review and it is Golasso Hero Ginola who looks absolutely insane and guys I managed to pack him first owner obviously I know I'm really lucky couldn't believe it yeah, absolutely mad. Uh, so, if you do enjoy today's play review, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button for me. It is greatly appreciated. And if you're new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews and FIFA-related content. Let me know if you want to see anyone in this team review because this is my new boys team because it's all players that I've packed in the last two weeks. And I thought, you know what? Why don't we stick them all together and give them a try? Because some of them don't make my main team. So, yeah, if you want to see a Cantona... An informer Ronaldo, Xabi Alonso, if you want to see Valele or any of these players, please do let me know in the comments section below. But this one is all about Ginola. He's 5 star, 5 star, high medium weight rate. He's going for about 3 million coins right now. Um, so obviously a hell of a lot of coins, but you're getting a hell of a lot of player. He can play left mid cam striker and left wing. His pace is ridiculous. His shooting's okay. Um, not really stand out, I would say, at this stage of the game. 86 attack positioning, letting him down a bit there, and 84 penalties. Everything else in the 90s, not too bad. Uh, so we will see how he does perform because he doesn't have any playstyle pluses apart from power shot, I believe. Um, so it would be nice to have a finesse shot playstyle in there, but he doesn't. Um, we move on from that. His passing looks absolutely insane. Crossing a 92, vision a 95, they're really nice. His dribbling looks unbelievable paired with the uh, playstyle plus of technical dribble i'm guessing he's going to be absolutely amazing on the ball um he's got really nice heading at 94 heading accuracy and jumping of 92 so he's going to win you some headers he's got 90 stamina 87 strength and 84 aggression which is absolutely unbelievable isn't it i mean the new meta is like crossing to the back post and stuff and this guy is quite a tall left wing obviously he's got the head and strength and jump in there so hopefully he's going to fit that meta at the moment as well so that's nice to have uh, as i was saying before he only has power shot he doesn't have any passing play styles which is uh yeah surprising i thought he might have had whip pass or something like that he does have technical flair and first touch he has traveller plus which is nice relentless and quick step um but yeah it would have been nice to have finesse shot and probably whip pass as well but we move, he doesn't, he only has the 7, but let's see how he does perform in game, I'm going to play him as a left wing to start, maybe move him to a strike and see how he performs there, and this is the team I'm going to play him in, so yeah, let's see how Ginola performs, but if you do need coins to go and buy Ginola, because he is a shit ton at the moment, then check out our sponsor, u 7 buycom and use code Josh97 to get yourself a cheeky 6% off at the checkout, all you need is the links down below, so give him a click, helps you, helps me, and yeah, you get some nice coins to go and buy amazing players like you're seeing in this team. And let's crack on with the Ginola review. So here we go into match number one. Very nice team. Got a load of new cards in there. A couple of evolutions as well. Going to be a tough one. I would love that Yaya Torre card. Lovely from Ginola. Oh my god. First goal. Five minutes in. Take a bow. Absolutely rips the defender. And I was talking about no playstyle plus for the finesse shot, but that was an absolute belting one. Look at that for a goal. Lovely ball from Frank. Against Pedro Porro here. Using that technical plus. We do get the free kick with him. Should we give it a go with Ginola? What's his free kicks like? 85 free kick accuracy. Let's have a dig. Oh my word! David Ginola! What a goal that was! I actually didn't expect that to go in, but what a free kick! I mean, that couldn't have been any more perfect, could it? Right in that top bin. What a free kick goal that is! Ginola wins it back here. Oh, lovely cut inside. That's what I'm talking about. Ginola at the back post. This is that trick. That is absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? What a goal that is. I honestly can't believe the goals he scored in this first game were <laughs> just unbelievable. I'm going to take a look, especially at that free kick. Um, <laughs> I want to see this again. Look at this for a free kick. 
It couldn't have been more perfect, could it? Right into that top bin. Absolutely stunning. Just take a bow, David Ginola. Then that last goal as well. I mean, the whip pass from uh, Bellingham into Bellingham, Bellerin, <laughs> into the back post. And a lovely volley from David Ginola to finish it off there. Three goals, hat trick, absolutely brilliant in this first game. Let's go into another. Here we go, match number two. That's definitely a better team. Grinchy Chazzini or Martinelli. He likes the Brazilians up front. And uh, some good Brazilians as well. If you've not checked out my Jazzino and the Grinch review, check those out. But yeah, after the first game, hopefully <laughs> we're going to get some more goals with David Ginola. Lovely ball. Absolutely just runs past. <laughs> it just makes the game easy. He just makes the game easy. Look at that. Dribbles past him. Little shimmy to the right and uh, in the back of the net. That's all you need. Oh, my God. Imagine if that had gone in. Very unlucky. Ginola off a corner. Wins the header this time. That was more accurate than in the last game. So we end up losing this one 3-1 because Casillas... Could not catch a cold. He couldn't save a Word document. He was absolutely terrible. So, Thunderstruck Casillas. I don't know why he's going for 500k. Do not buy him. But Ginola took his goal really well. I mean, we had a lot of chances. Not with Ginola, with the rest of the team. and just could not finish them in this game. Really just couldn't. I would like to see the match facts. I mean, there you go. 11 shots we've had. We didn't dominate in possession, but we dominated in attempts. And I just couldn't score. Just could not score, um, apart from, obviously, Ginola taking his goal very well. So, yeah, we didn't win in this one. We got beat 3-1. Not deserved, to be fair, but, you know, sometimes that happens. We got a 45th-minute scripted goal, and then Casillas absolutely crumbled. In fact, I'll show you. I'll show you how bad um, the goal was, that last one, from... Jack, look at the state of this. How on this God's earth does Casillas not save this? I mean, what? How? Just how? How's he not saved that, guys? I don't know. Um, just proves you. <laughs> I'm not lying. Casillas is awful. Let's go into another. Here we go into match number three. Very nice team. He's got Berbatov and Drogba. I really want to try that Drogba card. Looks really good. And he's got that meta aerial playstyle plus at the moment as well. So. Maybe we'll review him. If you do want to see that, let me know. Um, but in this one, hopefully, we're going to get more goals of Ginola. And we're actually going to win this game. Nice play. Easy as you like. Five star, five star on this man. He is finishing his dinner. And he does again. Absolutely brilliant goal from him there. With the technical dribble. Just making that space for his left. And a cross goal. What a finish. David Ginola with a header right on the edge of the box there. That was quite a good header considering how far out he was. Oh, lovely play. Can Ronaldo finish it off? He gets absolutely snapped. And we're going to stick Ginola on this one. Ginola, great play there to actually um, set up. Ronaldo. Can we score it, though? That's the question. Yes, we can. Beautiful. David Ginola with his second. This time a penalty. Played nice there. That, that, it's the quick feet for me that's really good about him. He's been able to get it out of his feet really quickly, and his passing is really accurate. And so that quick pass over to Ronaldo made that attack, and obviously we do get a pen from it. Oh, lovely from Ginola. <laughs> Absolutely amazing to put us on level terms there. Ripped. Was it Van Dyke or was it his other centre back? Absolutely <laughs> ripped him to shreds. It was Van Dyke. Sent him packing. And then a lovely, tidy finish. And that's what you're going to get with the five star skills, isn't it, guys? This card is fun. I've got to put that in the review, even though it's not Ginola. 
<laughs> oh my god. With a scorpion kick from CR7. Brilliant. So we end up drawing the last game 4 4. It was a really good game, to be honest. Uh, again, probably should have won. We had so many chances. I'd love to know how many chances we had. Let's have a look. Felt like I was on top for most of the game, to be honest. What was that? Match facts. Actually, he was on top. Oh no, sorry. I am on the right this time. I've changed my um, <laughs> my badge. I forgot about that. We had 12 shots. We dominated possession. Look at the passes. We should have won that, to be honest. Really should have won that. But again, another amazing performance from David uh, Ginola. Three goals in this one. Man of the match. And he's just absolutely quality. He is really, really good. So let's get on into the player summary of David Ginola. So here we are are my overall thoughts and opinions of David Ginola. 14 games, 14 goals, 2 assists. I mean, we played 3 actual games uh, within the review. But total-wise, he's, he's had a goal per game, um, which is really good, obviously. And he was absolutely fantastic. Um where would I suggest playing him? In that last game, I did actually play him up front in the second half. I played him on the left um, in the first game for the full game. And I played him on the left and right wing uh, for the middle game, which we didn't get too much involvement with him, to be honest. Um, and I would say probably left wing and striker are his two best positions. I actually prefer him as a winger, to be honest, than I do as a striker. That's just my opinion, though. He is fantastic wherever you play him. Um, what I liked about him, obviously, his dribbling is fantastic. And considering he's quite a big man as well, um, I was quite surprised how good his dribbling actually is. It is absolutely fantastic. He can win headers. He's got it all. He is absolutely the complete package on this game. You said it, the goals he was scoring. The free kick. Oh, God, that was, that was the best goal for me. The free kick was fantastic. The way he can just move slightly... With the skill moves, take a defender completely out of the game. You've seen him do that three or four times in this review where he's just done like a little knock or a little uh, shimmy to the side, made the space, and then he obviously got the finishing of dreams as well to put in the back of the net. Um, he is absolutely fantastic. And to be honest, I don't even know what to recommend uh, play style wise not play style, uh, chem style wise on him because he doesn't need a boost. He really doesn't. I've put... Um, a finisher on him to boost that shooting up a bit more and the dribbling. He obviously doesn't need more pace because he's so fast. He's very strong for a winger. And yeah, he's just an absolute complete pa package. And no wonder he's going for so many coins on this game. I mean, what's he going for now? I think it was about 3 mil. He's gone down a bit more, actually. 2.5 million coins now. It's probably because of that re-released 300,000 uh, 300, FIFA point pack. 300,000? 3.5 thousand FIFA point pack where... Um, you can now get him again um, from Team 1. So that's probably why he's gone down a bit more. But honestly, this card is just insane. Absolutely insane. So if you have enjoyed today's play view, smash the thumbs up one for me. It's greatly appreciated. If you're new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play views and FIFA-related content. You know, getting a 10 out of 10 for me. He's absolutely fantastic. Going to be an end game card, no doubt about it. So he's probably going to be in my team for the rest of the game now. Absolutely brilliant card. If you do want to see Cantona, Javi Alonso, Lampard, Desailly, Villele, any of these players reviewed or anyone you want to see, let me know in the comments and I'll catch you up in the next one. Thank you.